What's the advantage of payments? Today we're just going to number five on the ecological impact of GMOs. Genetically modified crops have been developed that produce a protein that makes the plants resistant to insect pests. Other genetic modifications make the crops more resistant to chemicals that kill plants, herbicides. Part A asks us to describe two potentially biological risks of large-scale cultivation and use of such genetically modified plants. And then Part B wants us for each of those risks that I described, we need to propose a practical approach for reducing the risk. Now, there's a lot of different answers that you could put here, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you the scoring guidelines. So you could talk about the risk that we have to humans and the other animals. And so a way to propose kind of a mitigation to this would be to isolate those animals from the crops so that we're not having animals consuming those crops. This also could disturb, disturb the food chain because of the fact that now they are going to be resistant to these different pests. And so there might be some loss of food sources. Um, so we want to intersperse the genetically modified plants with the non-genetically modified plants. Um, you could also talk about spreading of these genetic modifications to our non-genetically modified plants. Um, and so we can make sure that the pollen of those genetically modified plants gets contained and decrease the ability to form viable seeds from it. Um, you could also talk about the genetically modified plants are now going to outcompete those native species because they're no longer um, going to be impacted by these pests and these herbicides. Um, and so another way we could do that, again, isolating those genetically modified plants uh, or disabling the ability to produce those viable seeds. So if they can't reproduce, they're not going to be able to outcompete. We also see a loss of biodiversity, so we want to make sure that we intersperse the genetically modified plants with the non-genetically modified plants. Now, again, there's multiple other answer choices you can hear, so if you want to pause and just read through them, you can do that. So one potential risk of cultivating genetically modified crops is that the proteins produced to resist herbicides and pests may be harmful to humans. Another risk is that pesticides produced on the plants may destroy local insect populations, which may result in catastrophic imbalances in the local ecosystems. To reduce the risk of harming humans, research could be done to understand the effects and properties of the proteins and to ensure the proteins are safe for human consumption. To protect the ecosystem, safe crops could be planted in the area as well to provide food for the insects in order to ensure their survival. Hope that was helpful. Remember, 85 Hay was just assessed by all.